deep breaths. So hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. Yes, I'm looking like Hot Mess Express, but it's late, I'm tired, and for some reason it's cold. I don't know why it's cold. It's summer, it's supposed to be warm. But um, I'm sitting here on the cold floor, uh, tired, to show you my Bath and Body Works haul from the semi-annual sale. Now, I did not go cuckoo bananas, let me tell you, because there wasn't a whole lot to go bananas over. Um, I used my $10 off a of 40 coupon. I will tell you guys about that. Uh, I know you want me to just get into the haul, but if you received a coupon in the mail or you got a coupon in your little electronic wallet in your Bath & Body Works rewards app, they have gotten wise to us. So it used to be that you could take a picture of the paper coupon and then use the same code online, you know, because they tear up the coupon when you bring it to the store. So I took a picture of the coupon anyway, even though it was in my rewards wallet. So it turns out after you use the paper coupon, it disappears from your rewards wallet and and when I looked at the the code to try to use it online, right, the paper code, it says this code is good for one-time use only. Uh, it's for use in a store, uh, online, or the wallet. So they once you use the code, you can't use it online. It re it'll reject it online, and uh, it disappears from your wallet from the app. So... Yeah, so there's that. What did I get? And I wanted to show you this stuff because it's not all for me. So I used my $10 off of 40 coupon, which I know we all say, we all say we're going to wait until the end of the sale when everything goes 75% off, and then we're going to use the coupon for super duper savings, right? But I, we always end up using it at the beginning of the sale. And yeah. So what did I get? I got one candle and I don't buy candles because I don't burn candles anymore. Not that often anyway, but I picked up one candle. It, it was the one that I just had to have. Um, I wanted under the sun, the one that's supposed to smell like suntan lotion and bananas, but it's coming up online is $26.95. So it was not on sale. So it was, um, $11.95 today, certain candles. And then with the coupon, it came out to like a nine something. So I got one of the blends candles and I wanted this particular one because I was like, it's a blend of a scent that I really love along with a scent that I really hate. So let's see how it's going to do. So I got the Marshmallow Fireside and Black Cherry Merlot. So... It's, it smells different. It smells different. So I love marshmallow fire. I can't speak. I love marshmallow fireside. I cannot stand black cherry Merlot. But together, you, you know what? Black cherry Merlot smells like Luden's cough drops. We all know that. But the marshmallow fireside smells like campfire marshmallows and s'mores and all that. Together, the Marshmallow Fireside is definitely the more predominant note. I don't know if they put the stronger one as the top scent and the, the, less, um, the less smelling one. How do you say it? The, the less prominent one on the bottom. But the Marshmallow Fireside is definitely um, what you can smell the most of. And then you get a hint of that Luden's Cough Drop. And let me tell you, it's not bad. It's not bad. What I was looking for in the blends uh, that I wanted to check out was the um, Island Margarita and Vanilla Bean, and I could not find it. And I could not find that Pineapple and Balsam one either, although that sounds like it's going to be horrible. And then in the soaps, for the blend soaps, I see it online. I haven't seen it in stores. Champagne Toast with the cinnamon rolls. That sounds like it's going to be amazing. I could not find it. The only soap that I could find for 75% off 
is one that I'm going to, this is sticky, is one that I'm going to gift because this is not my type of scent. So these were the only 75% off soaps. It is white tea and sage from the white barn label. And this is fresh tea, lemon and herbs. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this haul Actually, you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely herbal. It's definitely herbal. And I'm more of a gourmand type of, you know, like fresh, fruity, floral, gourmand type person. Not really on the herbal side, but it's not bad. It, it's, it's not bad. So I got two. They did have a bunch. They had a bunch, uh, but I only picked up two. So whether I will use it, whether I'll gift it to my mom, I don't know. I like the packaging. It's really pretty. I mean, for an herbal scent, it definitely has the the right color, you know. But I had to stop myself from, like, taking all of them, you know. It's, it's this thing where you go to the SAS and you want to hoard things. You see things for 75% off. And even though you may not like them or, you know, 75% off makes everything smell better. So there's a tendency to hoard. So the other reason I wanted to show you this haul is because my boyfriend wanted me to pick him up some stuff, but not men's stuff. He wanted one shower gel, one body cream, and a couple of soaps. And he specified that he wanted coconut pineapple scented stuff. Yeah. So let me tell you what I got him. So, I got him for the shower gel. This was $3.95. This is the fresh coconut and cotton. This has been out before. Um, I gave him the um, body cream in the old packaging a while ago, like, you know, and he liked it. So, I got him the fresh coconut and cotton. It smells really good. I should have got it for myself, but... You know, this is Coconut Coastal Breeze Beachside Cotton. And then for the body cream for him, which I said to myself, after I smelled it in the car again, I was like, why did I not get one for myself? I could kick myself now. Um, it's the Waikiki Beach Coconut. I haven't had this scent in the longest time and I forgot what a good scent this is. This is so good. It's totally coconut and pineapple. Now, they did have coconut and pineapple, that specifically named scent, but they did not have it in the body cream. They only had it in the, um, what do you call it? Body lotion. And he wanted body cream. He doesn't like the lotion. This smells so good. If I go back and I see more Waikiki Beach Coconut, I need to get one for me because I miss this scent. This is Tropical White Coconut Saltwater Breezes Sun Bleached Woods. To me, I definitely smell coconut and pineapple. It doesn't say pineapple, but I smell it. I definitely think he'll like that one. And the packaging is like a unisex type packaging. Not that he cares. He was using my Sunrise Pineapple whatever it was in the pink packaging, which they have out again, you know. Um, then from the 75% off table, I picked up, like everybody's been picking these up, the Moxie gummies. Um, I got the stress relieving ones. They did have the sleep ones also, but I take enough meds to go to sleep. So I decided to get these, the Moxie stress relief, stressless, Dietary supplement. This is raspberry sweet tea flavor. It says take two gummies daily. Chew thoroughly before swallowing. Um, it says may promote feelings of relaxation. Uh, and uh, it says um, it's vegan and gluten, no gluten and gelatin. So, yeah. So, I got these. The, the Moxie gummies were 75% off. Now... Um, these are originally marked 1895. There's 60 gummies. 
very ASMR. I love this. I love that. Um, so Tina Marie, she said that hers were, she got the sleep ones expire in November. So I checked the date. The stress ones, they expire March 2024. So I have some time on uh, on the Moxie uh, things. So they had a bunch, but I, like I said, I don't know how these are going to work. So, and I never bought a food food product from Bath and Body Works. So then for myself, on the 75% off table, I did not like the mist in this, but I do like it as a shower gel. So I got the Emerald Mist. This is, um, did I read you? Yeah, I read you all the notes. The, the notes on this are Fresh Rainfall, Sunkissed Pear, and Blonde Woods. It's just like a fresh scent. It's like a fresh green scent. So I got that. They had one left of this on the 75% off table. It's the Fine Fragrance Mist in One in a Million. I like this one. You know, 75% off makes everything smell better. I don't know why I never picked this up before. I really do like it though. It's it's really, it has such a nice perfumey scent. It has jasmine extract, tuberose oil, white gardenia, pink pepper, and cashmere musk. It's really nice. Although it has a weird after scent. I like it. For 75% off, I like it. And then this was on the... What was it on? It was on the three ninety five table, I believe. And what's her name? Leah Janae was raving about this scent. Said it was her favorite scent. So I got it. I don't know why I didn't get it in the shower gel. They may not have had it. I know they they just restocked the the fine fragrance mist while I was in the store. Don't remember why I didn't get the shower gel. I don't think they had it. So sun blooms and suede. I don't get it. I don't get why she said this is so amazing. It's okay. Um, this is white raspberry pink petals vanilla cream. So if it actually smelled like that, I would like it, but I don't know. I don't smell it. I don't smell it. I'll let that die down. Yeah, I could smell it in the spray. In the spray, you could smell like the raspberries and like vanilla. It's nice. I wish they would have had the, the, what do you call it? The shower gel. So let's go over what I picked up. Sun blooms and suede. Fresh coconut and cotton for the boyfriend. Emerald mist for me. One in a Million Fragrance Mist, the Moxie Gummies, Waikiki Beach Coconut for the Boyfriend, it smells so good. Why did I not get another one? And they have it online and they have it in the lotion and the spray and I'm tempted to order a bunch of it, but... No, because I can't use my coupon again. Uh, two of the 75% off white tea and sage. And one candle, which is the marshmallow fireside and black cherry merlot, which I didn't read you the notes. And this is toasty marshmallow, toasted marshmallow, crystallized amber, white, wild black cherries, 
velvety red wine and this essential natural oils, whatever it is, natural essential oils. So that's what I picked up from the semi-annual sale today. And it came out to less the coupon. It came out to $36.71. That's with the tax and everything. $36.71. And I saved $120.28. So, yeah, there's that. So, let me tell you some thoughts. Um, the Disco Collection... The, the like groovy disco y 70s collection. It's online for $3.95. In the store today, it was still 50% off. It was not $3.95. I like the disco daydream. I think that one is my favorite. The watermelon one, I it's a dupe of the watermelon, whatever watermelon blast that came out the last year, the year before. So I'm not nuts about the watermelon one. Disco daydream is nice. The blue one, the waterfall one, I guess it's called, is okay. But um, I think if I were to get one, I would get the Disco Daydream. Just because it's purple, I like the packaging. The scent is, you know, eh. Um, let's see. Oh, so the three, like, gourmand scents. What was that? Mm, the three gourmand scents, the, the, I was very disappointed in the, the fruity sherbet scoop. I don't know if I picked up a bad bottle, but when I sprayed it on myself, it smelled fruity, but then it had this very funky, like weird after smell that smelled like nasty. I don't know. It might've been a bad bottle. The coconut milkshake one is like, I think a repackage of the coconut pie scent. So I was like a and then I forget, oh, the Cotton Candy Clouds. That that came out last year or the year before. And I don't need that one again. So, and then the returning scents. Yes, the Cucumber Melon looks pretty with the 25th anniversary thing written on it. But I have Cucumber Melon. It comes out every year. I don't need the 25th anniversary logo thing on it. Do I? No. Um, and the I really wanted to like the Plumeria. I had a friend from high school who loved the Plumeria scent. I wanted to love Plumeria. I just can't love Plumeria. It smells like a weird version of sweet pea. And then the white tea and ginger, I used to like that scent. And they did something to it. Or my scent, you know, like, what would I say? My scent palette? That's not right. My... My nose, <laughs> my nose, my, uh, it has changed. I, I used to like white tea and ginger and I just can't get into it. I can't get into it. So, um, what did I put back today? They had in the 75% off bin, uh, you're the one. I was going to get it in the shower gel. I put it back because the shower gel is a bright red, which means it's got lots of colors and dyes in it. It's very heavily perfumed. And and my skin and my body has gotten sensitive. So I really don't want something that's so heavily perfumed and with such a heavy dye in it. So I put it back. I don't know. I, you know what it is? If, if it was clear... Instead of that red, I probably would have, you know, gotten it, even though it's so strong. I like you're the one I have it in a body cream. It's just really, really strong. It's not a bad scent, but it's like a knock you out perfume scent. And then I, I wanted to like Sea Island Shore, which used to be Sea Island Cotton. And I just, I just, my nose has changed and it's just, I can't. And then um, they didn't have the sun ripened raspberry. I couldn't, I wanted to smell that. They didn't have that. And then I put back, what was it? Sea Island Shore. Oh, that fresh jungle rain. 
is this it's a dupe for cool amazon rain i swear it's the same scent and i bought so much cool amazon rain when it came out i still have it and it must have come out like i don't know six years ago or something i still have cool amazon rain in the shower gel uh which i don't even think i could use it anymore because i think it's turned uh i used one not that long ago but anyway yeah, so we'll see what, what happens. I've seen a lot of people do hauls where they got the gingham perfume and um, the men's cologne and stuff. I didn't see any perfumes or any colognes. Uh, they had very few single wick 75% uh, off candles. I did not see any three wick 75% off candles. Um, the one wick ones, they had that flower child one. They had nothing spectacular they had a, a couple of one couple of, uh, of of different ones they had a lot of hello beautiful in the body care uh they had the salt water breeze which i still have from last time it came out um yeah just just not a whole bunch of stuff so let me tell you guys those collections that they bring back for semi-annual sale that are specifically for semi-annual sale, like the, the, the groovy disco collection, whatever it's called. And the, what's the other one? That gourmand one with the cotton, the cotton candy clouds, the coconut, whatever, and the sherbet scoop. I forget what it's called. Those the best scent that they ever brought out just for a semi-annual sale, and I think it's starting to go bad, is Champagne Sprinkles. This is one of the best scents ever from Bath & Body Works and the best scent to ever come out specifically for a semi-annual sale. I love it to death. It is amazing. And, you know, even though it's it's turning yellow, it still smells good to me. And this is Sparkling Champagne, Raspberry Icing, and Rainbow Sprinkles. Why do they not bring this back? Bring it back. Now, I did stop by Five Below. I talked to you guys about their Bath & Body Works so-called dupes. They are not dupes. They are very poor imitations that look like Bath & Body Works stuff, but do not smell like Bath & Body Works stuff. So I had picked this up from their collection. This is the only one. They had the one California Dreaming, which was okay. But the best one was this one. I picked up two of the soaps, not today, but this is from past. And I'll get to why I'm showing this to you now. Two of the Scent X Scent Life is Sweet Candy Clouds. This does not smell like cotton candy clouds from Bath & Body Works. Not, nothing like it. Very, very light and different than Bath & Body Works. If you want real cotton candy scent, go to the Bath & Body Works one if you haven't gotten it before. The Life is Sweet Candy Clouds smells like um, like the scratch and sniff stickers from when you were a kid, like the fruity scented stickers or like the strawberry shortcake dolls or anything that had that, like those children's dolls or toys or perfumes that had that weird artificial candy uh, bizarre scent for some reason it brings me back to my childhood and I like it a lot so I had picked up the soap once I decided to pick up another one of the soap um what was I gonna say but then when I wanted to get the body care it was all gone except for today when I went to a different five below I was able to find it in the body care so if you're able to find the set and you like it Pick it up because people are grabbing uh, this one, the Life is Sweet Candy Clouds. So let me show you what it looks like. This is the spray. See, it looks very much like Bath & Body Works, but does not smell like Bath & Body Works. Yeah, it definitely is like a weird, it's it's weird. It's a weird take you back to your childhood kind of scent. This is hair and body, hair and body fragrance mist. And then I also picked up the Life is Sweet Candy Clouds Hand and Body Cream, 
which is sealed, I think. No, it's not. It doesn't really have that much of a scent. It's very, very light in the body cream. But I wanted the set because it was it became impossible to find. And then the other thing that I picked up at Five Below. Now, how much uh, are those? They're three fifty. They're three fifty. Um, for the the spray and the the thing, the cream. Okay, so. I had seen this in a different five below. They had it on display. They were sold out. They wouldn't sell me the display one that was in the frame. I looked for it online. I think I found it on Hot, on Hot Topic or whatever. And for some reason, this poster is so expensive online. And I don't know why. This was $5.55 in, in five below. And it's from one of my favorite shows from Netflix. Wednesday. I want to get a frame for this. Uh, this is a standard poster frame is 20, 20, 24 by 36, I believe is the standard frame. This is 22 by 34. So you're going to have a little bit of a white border around it uh, if you get the standard frame. So it's Wednesday with the umbrella. She's standing there with the umbrella. Now, the other one that I really, really like is uh, it's one of her in the, this beautiful black gothic dress and she's in at the prom or some dance, something that she was at, some dance. And it's a gorgeous, stunning poster. And that one is cheaper priced online. You can find that pretty much every, anywhere and everywhere. But for some reason, the one with the umbrella is is like really expensive so if you can find it at five below get it at five below don't overpay for the wednesday poster i want to get a bunch of other wednesday stuff but i'm not right now so anyway i think i'm i always say this i think i'm good for the semi-annual sale i i the uh, the stuff for my boyfriend that's i'm gifting it to him um but I still have to get him some soaps. He wants some like fruity scented soaps or gourmand scented soaps. So I'm going to have to wait till the end of the sale because you know the soaps don't go 75% off until like the way end of the sale. So um, I will see if I can pick up some for him. But I think um, aside from the Waikiki Beach Coconut, the soap of the champagne toast and cinnamon rolls, and the Disco Daydream, I think I'm good. There's one other candle that I wanted to get. Uh, I saw it online. It says like, um, it has like tobacco or leather or something in it. I think it's called Ebony Sands or Ebony something. It's, it's, it's a black candle. It's got waves on it. I forget what it's called. It's Ebony something. I want to get that. But yeah, so... That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video. Until then, um, goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land, and have a blessed day.